I'm gonna teach you how to make your own games. After this video you will be a pro. The number one lesson is, your game idea probably sucks. The faster you let go of the GTA 6 in your mind, the faster you will learn. This will probably sound really harsh, but no matter how good you think your game idea is, it's probably bad. And listen, I'm not trashing on you, I'm just telling you how it is. I'm not gonna serve you bullshit. Lesson number two is, you cannot escape programming. Games are literally computer programs. You can use visual programming languages but you cannot escape programming itself and for me programming is the best part anyway so why would you run from it lesson number three is always go in with a plan never make the mistake of opening a game engine and trying to learn it without a goal you're just going to be overwhelmed by the amount of options and information that you need to take in the first time you open a game engine you should already have a game idea in mind something very simple like a mario clone or a pong clone before we move on to lesson number four, I want to give you a few tips for your first games. You need to make at least three very simple projects. You're only supposed to learn from them. These are not things you're going to release or show anybody, just learn. They all have to be very different from each other. For example, you can make a Pong clone and then a Super Mario clone because they are really different in gameplay terms. As a third option, you could probably make a top-down shooter or something you want to make. Here it's important to understand that your games are going to be really bad and that you're going to have a ton of difficulties. You can try to do things on your own, but if you feel too stressed, watch tutorials, man. Don't let your ego control you. Allow yourself to do hard things, just not in the hardest possible way, you know? Lesson number four, avoid tutorial hell, please. You shouldn't really worry about this in the first three games that we were talking about earlier because you were just learning the very basics. But after that, it's time to be careful with tutorials that teach you an entire thing, like an entire game type or an entire game mechanic. Because you could become dependent on those tutorials and never really learn how to make your own systems and your own types of games. As I said, you don't have to do things in the hardest possible way, so I still recommend you watch tutorials but very specific tutorials like how a specific component works in Unity or a node in Godot. This way you can still avoid the stress of something that is way beyond your capacity but still learn how to do things your own way. So to definitely escape tutorial hell, I recommend you make a fourth game. This time you can even show people and ask for feedback. But the most important thing is being something new and that you don't watch tutorials for the whole thing, just for specific things as I said. Lesson number five is explore new territory. Always. When I was starting, I spent months learning Unity and I would never try anything else. I was making progress, but I felt like I was too dependent on Unity itself as a tool. And so I decided to learn Godot. It was very stressful at first, but once I understood the engine and the differences between the two, I realized that I was way better after this. Learning Godot made me value more the overall concepts of game development and programming. Godot's documentation even focuses a lot on the history of game development and why things are done, and that helped me a ton. This experience made me a better game developer all around. Lesson number six is focus on the process. I know this sounds cliche, but game development is a craft, and you have to focus on the craft, not on the reward for the craft. I know you want to do this for a living, but your first game is probably gonna flop financially, but it's not gonna flop in your eyes if it's good and if you learn something from it. Focusing on making better games is the only way to withstand failure and eventually achieve success. And I promise you, if you make good games, they will be appreciated. After you follow all the steps in this video, you can probably start making your dream games. But don't allow yourself to become too attached to a single game idea, remember, you have to become a fountain for good games. Only one is not gonna get you anywhere. In the beginning, you're gonna feel like you are not ready to make that one game that you always wanted to make. But you are. It's just that you don't want that game to flop, so that's why you'll never make it. If you flop with that one, you can always make a better one, and then people will appreciate your first one because of who you are. <laughs> Alright, this is your journey. Go ahead. Leave a like in this video if you want more.